This is a branding film I had the pleasure of working on a little while ago for Cathay Pacific. It was given to me by the guys over at Mustard, Simon, Lindsay and Phoebe. Shout out to you guys. Let's get into it right now with the breakdown. This shot with its extensive node graph gives a few complexities. Let's have a look before. And after. First thing I like to do is adjust the exposure. And the first thing you can see that it brightens the shot up and gives the shot some contrast. This was shot on a Sony FS7 in S-Log2, retaining a lot of detail for me to work with in post. In the second note, I always like to balance the shot before going into any parallel work. As you can see in the roof of the cabin, there is some uh, highlights that are distracting from the action of the passenger and the training crew. To isolate that section of the shot, I used a power window and a gradient. In this node, once I did roll off the highlights, there was some magenta hue at the point where the highlights start to roll back. And in this part of the parallel structure, I remove that. Nodes 12 and 13 were final correction nodes, and we'll come back to those a little later. Moving the shot a little bit forward, you can see that there's a galley in the back of the shot, and it just looks a little bit too dark for my liking. Color grading is completely subjective. The roof is still somewhat green to my liking, and I really want to eliminate that. With a power window and a track, I brought that back to something a bit more visually pleasing. As a result, the cabin is quite cold. Now, just to the next node outside the structure here, I've just warmed the cabin up ever so slightly. As the shot pans back and reveals, it reveals also the magic that we're actually just inside a room. So I added a circular window and track that through the shot. This focuses the attention back on the people inside the cabin in the training situation. In this next node, I've used an outside node corrector just to lift the level slightly inside the cabin so that we've got more focus of what's going on there. In node 12, I just felt there was just a bit too much magenta in the shot, so lifting the overall green levels did help. In this final node, I've added a power window to enhance the people in the shot so that we've got focus on them. I've added it here before I've warmed up the cabin. If you like this grading breakdown, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to know more of how color grading can be a part of your workflow, email me at info at 852.net. I'll see you next time.